Hello, this is Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation. And I'm here with one of my very favorite people from the Compassionate Friends. He is the president of our board of directors and his name is Glenn Lord. Glenn is here to honor his son Noah. And Noah died, what, at four years old? Four and a half. He was very proud of that half year old. So yeah, four and a half, 1999 complications of a tonsillectomy. Wow, and Glenn has gone on to provide hope to so many because as I said, he works tirelessly at the Compassionate Friends and we're here at their national conference today. And Glenn, I know that you have a unique situation because after Noah died, you adopted two boys from Russia and they never met Noah. So I wanted to know what that's looked like in your family and do they know Noah? Yes, um, very much. I mean, they, they never physically met Noah. Um, one of them was actually born after Noah, but both of them came into our lives after Noah had died. And so we introduced them. When they were little kids, um, they would both talk about their dead brother as if he was around. Um, and they've got to know him and meet him. Now that they've kind of grown up and have more personalities, one of them I think would probably self-define himself as a bereaved sibling because he does talk about it, Noah's birthday and anniversary. The other one, I guess it's like any set of siblings, kind of tolerates the mom and dad have this kind of strange thing that goes on in their lives. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're different that way at this point. Yeah, and it is an interesting thing. Um, keeping, how do you keep Noah's memory alive for them? Well, when they were young, we showed them videos of them, we introduced them, we uh, tried to make his birthday fun, you know, we'd have a cake that they would get to eat, and so they always loved that part of it, that they would get to do that. Um, try to share things with them. The hardest part, honestly, was sharing with him that they wasn't perfect, because I think my younger son, for the longest time, thought his brother was perfect. And so, uh, when he got older, we had to share with him some of the fact that, I mean, how bad is a four and a half year old? But for a four and a half year old, he had his problems, he did things. I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, he he repainted our wall with his magic markers one morning, and so, you know, the, he he needed to hear that because I think they had compared, you know, against some magical creature that could do no wrong, and so that was the hardest part. His parents was to reposition Noah as being more human to them. Absolutely, and I think that's something that all grieving siblings really need, because when our sibling dies, they're elevated to the status of they never do anything wrong again. So uh, I love that. I love how you keep Noah's memory alive. I know I love how your sons know him through you. And thank you so much for all the work you're doing here at the Compassionate Friends. You have a huge heart. I'm so glad that I've gotten to know you. And if you've lost hope, please lean on mine and lean on Glenn's. Thank you. This is Dr. Heidi Horsley, OpenToHope.com.